it's Mai coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Hughesborough Steampunk Adventure, created by FIFA is Trash 8. So I'm guessing they're not a big FIFA fan. <laughs> Now, this park was created on the next-gen console. Now, I have already kind of spotlighted this park already on Planet Plipcam's channel, so I'll make sure to leave a link down below for that if you want to go and check that one out as well. But I just needed to come and check this out for myself because it's just one of the best things I've ever seen. Now, the description for this park reads, Hughesborough, inspired by a German theme park, is a steampunk-styled park area, including two roller coasters, Flying Railroad and Iron Force, the thrilling time machine, and several attractions for the whole family. Oswald's Crazy Library, Monty's Flight School, and the Venetian Carousel. Please note all indoor attractions are designed to be viewed in the dark, so if you enter a building, I recommend to set the time to midnight. Thank you for downloading, and enjoy the mysterious world of Hughesbury. So, honestly, guys, this is just absolutely sensational one of the best parks i've ever seen on console so let's hop in and have a look around shall we right so we've just come out of the entrance tunnel and just look at this instantly look at the architecture here this is insane this is making me think of albrus and fablewald or his rome park it's on the same kind of level. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's so intricate, so beautiful. And then we've got the Hughesborough entrance just there, just all very steampunk. And then as we look on this right hand side here, again, just beautiful architecture. It's just so well done. And then if you have a look as well, he's even done the shop fronts as well. Just with some little vases in there as well. We've got the phone box here. It's absolutely incredible. We've got a little water feature just in the middle here. And let's actually hop through this entrance and have a look at the park, shall we? Just inside here as well, everywhere is detailed. There is stuff to look at in every inch of this park. Whether it be the pipes that have got some detail on them. There's, there's a steampunk style car here. It's got wings on it and a propeller on the back. And as you do. That's, that's completely normal. But just, it's so, so well done. I don't think there's a single square inch of this park that hasn't got some kind of detail on it. We've got this steampunk clock just in the centre here. I love that. I absolutely love that. I might have to um, borrow that, maybe steal that, maybe one of the two. It's just, oh, look at this. I, I'm just going to keep raving about how good the detailing is. All up here as well, all this trimming just going up here, all this wall piece going up the side. Got the pipes going up. Got the window coverings, window bars pipes, wires, just everything everywhere. Chains. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So we've got a sweet shop just here. I, I could fancy some sweets. Let's go get some sweets. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I really like that roof design as well. So you're still taking the time to do the roof as well. Oh, I love this. I love it so, so much. Imagine, imagine if you will, just sat here having your dinner. I'm just sitting here, minding my own business, having my dinner. Just as the coaster comes past. That was good timing. Look at that. Just incredible. Absolutely ace. Right, anyway, let's not dawdle. Let's carry on. Time's a wasting and we've got lots to see, lots to do. So we have Orwell's Library. So let's just very quickly swap it to nighttime. Because I know this was one of the things in the description that you said to view at night. So let's have a walk up this queue path, shall we? I'm feeling so immersed in this park. Feeling proper engrossed. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so cosy in here. It's really warm. 
so well themed. So simple as well. Oh dear. How long has this librarian been there? Turned into a skeleton. Oh, this queue line is fantastic. Uh, let's carry on down here. I'm not even sure what vibe this is. Oh, no way, it's a flat ride. Oh, wow. Do you know what, guys? I never do this. Let's actually go for a ride on one of these, shall we? Enjoy. The amount of triggers and everything that you've got going on on that ride is absolutely insane. Oh, look at all the beams. All the red and green beams coming off. Just look how detailed it is in here. I could spend an entire spotlight just in one little tiny section of the park, just taking it all apart. Just looking how you've done everything because Everything is so detailed. This spotlight could easily be three hours long with the amount of detail that you've got into. But unfortunately, we don't have that kind of time. So let's just have a look. I like how you've got this kind of like stairway that comes up around here that is the guests don't use. It's not really accessible or anything like that, but you've still done it. And just then all the detailing up here as well. You've got pipes up here. You've got the bookshelves up here. No one can even really see this. To be honest, unless you specifically go exploring, but you've still done it. It's just sensational. Got all the bookshelves just at the back there as well. You've got the chains that go across. I like how the lights come around the archways as well. Yeah, great job. So we've got the green fire escape sign there. So let's just follow that. And let's come down this exit path. And here we come back outside, so let's very quickly swap it to date. And let's carry on again. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn right, because I don't want to miss anything. I like how the coaster comes. A bit unlucky that it didn't come just as I was stood there, but never mind. So we'll walk back down this way again, back towards the queue line, because I just don't want to miss anything. So we've got a balloon factory just here, nicely decorated. Got all the balloons at the side as well, look, just behind the chains. That's a cool little effect. And then, like, just all these pellets and boxes just placed here. It works so well. It's so simply themed, but it just works. And then, look at the library as well. I mean, this building is just absolutely insane. You've got the gargoyles at the side there with the chains coming down. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, so there is the queue line for the library. So let's just turn around and come back. So we've got a staff room just up there. What's down here? Oh, coaster just went past. And this is just a little section. Nothing really down here. Really? No. So let's turn back and go this way. So we've got a crane here as well didn't really notice that before there's so much it's easy to miss things because there's so much detailing everywhere it's almost easy to overlook something to be honest but all oh right so we have the time machine so again this is something else that you wanted to be viewed at night so let's just very quickly swap it and let's have a walk up the queue for this one then so is this another flat ride i think i know which one this is from when i did the spotlight with Plip. I think I know which one this is. But we'll have a walk up the queue path anyway. What an amazing queue path again. Again, it's just these little tiny little details. It's 
it's not masses it's not like thousands and thousands of pieces but it works it's almost like you've mastered less is more so 20 minutes from this point onwards but not for me i am vip oh wow the auto saves are a bit what's it oh my days look at that Talk about building the anticipation as you walk down the queue path as well. Crazy. Ten minutes from this point. Not for me. Get out of the way. Coming through. Right. And let's come down here. Oh, just look at that. Oh. I, I don't even know what to say. There's just so much going on here. L the amount of pipes and effects that you've got going on and smoke and triggers, it's just, it blows my mind. It really does well and truly blow my mind. Like you've got all the pipes up here as well, just with the don't die fencing around it as well. All the, again, all the smoke. But I think... Again, very unusually, let's go for a ride on this one as well, and let's watch it all the way through as well, so enjoy. Also has me kid. Now, I know that was quite a long time to go on a flat ride, but is it just me or was that totally worth it? I mean, purely just to watch all the triggers that you've got going on, that ride as well, just watching it count down as it went across, the time and dedication and patience you must have had to have done that. Incredible, absolutely amazing. And then likewise, just on this side as well, you've got all this detailing here. Yeah, just fantastic. So let's hop out the exits. Um, is that the first aid? Yep, first aid. So, Dr. Copernicus. I haven't got a club. <laughs> I don't know. We have Timeless. 
Oh, look how beautiful it is in here as well. You've got the pipe. Just reminding you that it's steampunk. Just a pipe. Just going around the room as well. Yeah, really nice inside here. Quite quaint as well. Just a little bit of a reprieve from the park as well. Because it is quite bustly and quite busy around the park. So just that moment of tranquility just inside there as well. And then, oh, look at this roof. I'm, I'm Honestly, guys, I'm just geeking out all the way around. I apologise for being too excited. I can't help it. I can't help myself. I'm not even sorry, to be honest. It's just so good. Right, what's behind this door? Is there anything there? I'm, I'm going to have a look. Right, oh, just a staff room. Okay. Right, then we've got an ATM just set back there as well. And let's come out of here. So what I'll do, I think we'll turn right once again to make sure that we haven't missed anything and we'll walk back to that queue line. So we've got the food market since 1812. And look, look at all this roof. So you've got all the pipes and the chains and then the don't die fencing coming down. And what an effect it gives. Again, less is more. I genuinely don't know how you've done this how you've managed to make it so intricate with almost so little as well such clever use of the pieces in the game we've got a menu here so burger fries soda hot and cold and there you go we're back to the time machine again so we'll walk back down here and we can also have a look through the right hand side as well and just look at the coaster just through the fencing there as well and look how much detailing there is over there. I, I can't quite wrap my head around this park. I can't quite believe what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't convinced that I was going to see a park this year that would have rivaled the Rome Park. But we have it. We have a park here that does. Again, just the detailing. I'm just repeating myself over and over. What more am I supposed to say? To be honest. It's just so good. Which I've said. I've said that about 20 times already. And pipes just going over the building there. Every single shop seems to be unique. And different. And have its own identity as well. So we've got a Venetian carousel there. Let's actually go up the queue path. And have a look at this properly shall we. I want to experience everything properly like all the detailing just around here as well almost looks like a cathedral or something around here like a steampunk cathedral and we've even got like a bell tower that comes up here as well all the chains going across the roof as well is there a single inch of this park that you haven't decorated I don't think there is. Even bits that the guests can't see, you've still gone and decorated. There's pipes everywhere. I've been desperate to see a steampunk park like this on console. And you've delivered. Between this one and then Silverpunkers Midgar that we spotlighted a couple of months ago... I'm happy with all this steampunk. And again, just this clock is just amazing. But I do feel we need to have a quick zoom out second. So, right, we've done the entrance here. We went left. We've been all around here. We've seen the flat rise. We've seen that Venetian carousel. So we've got all that there. We've obviously got the main coaster to go on. Right, okay. Right, so I think we're about halfway through, give or take. So let's hop back down here again. It's just so easy to miss something. I'm terrified I'm going to miss something in this park because I'm, I'm going to. It's inevitable that I'm going to because there's so much detail. And look at that sight line down there. It doesn't look like Planet Coaster, does it? It looks like a different type of game. It almost looks like Final Fantasy or something like that or a cyberpunk game. It doesn't look like Planet Coaster at all. Ooh, autosave. It really doesn't like autosaves, this park. It really doesn't. Well, we've got the Sedgwick Hotel. 
I like the effect with the glass that you've got in front and then the beams and the chains coming down at the Neptune with the scaffolding. You got some people just stood up here as well. Let's go and uh, have a look what the what the sight lines like from there. So we're staying in this hotel. We open the windows and oh my god. I'd like to come and stay in this hotel, please. That exact room right there. Right, so what have we got here? So we have Pete's pub. Who's Pete? Don't know who Pete is, but he's got a pub. There you go. So a nice little pub just in there. <laughs> Honestly, this is just... I don't know which way to look. There's too much to look at. Right, so we have the Hydrodome. I want to go in the Hydro Dome, but I also want to look at this as well. I just want to look at every single little detail. I love how you've used the sci-fi pieces and blended them in as well. Just amazing. But right, let's have a look in here, shall we? <sighs> wow. Wow. Talk about taking your breath away. I, I don't even know where you would have started with something like this. I don't even know where you would have got the inspiration or the idea behind this. It's just so well done. Look how the coaster comes out of that bit there as well. And then over the other side as well, just kind of like goes back in to that. So it goes all the way around this room. Then, of course, we've got the flat ride, the balloon ride just down here as well. Just sensational. Got a block of toilets here. Now, I do remember that you said that you wanted to have this viewed at night as well. So let's just very quickly swap it to night. Okay, I can see why you said, look at this part at night. Again, it just doesn't look like Planet Coaster. It feels like a different game. It really does. But anyway, Iron Force. Love that entrance. But let's have a look. So Iron Force, minimum age 6. Minimum height, 110 centimetres. That must be the exit. So we've got the entry here. So let's have a walk up this queue path, shall we? It's just so good. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I truly, truly don't. The way that console players keep pushing the boundaries, and I've said this in numerous spotlights as the year has gone on, you guys continue to push what is possible on console. You guys are now rivaling the top-end PC guys. You really are, and... I didn't think I would ever see things like this on a console, and yet, here you are, you're doing it. It's just so well done. It feels like Black Mire, like uh, Wix's Black Mire series that he's doing on the PC. It feels like a console version of that. It's just amazing. But anyway, so we have Iron Force. Look at this station. We've got the operators just up here nice i like that i like that effect so they can just look down on the train there and just look at this station it's so so good but right anyway i think what we'll do is we'll go for two rides of this uh, we'll do a day and a night pov so let's go for a ride enjoy everybody
words are beyond me. What theming around that ride from start to finish. Again, I don't know where you would have even begun to start with this. You've got pipes all up there. No one's even going to see that. Then look at this, how intricate it is. How methodical it is in there. The time and dedication and patience you must have had to have done this. It wouldn't surprise me if this park has taken you since the game came out. If you told me this park has taken you like almost two years, it wouldn't surprise me because of the level of detail that you've gone into. It's absolutely mental. And again, just the amount of sci-fi pieces that you've used and been able to incorporate them into steampunk is just crazy. Yeah, top work. Top work. I don't even know what to say. There, there is no feedback for that except for it's just amazing. And I absolutely love it from start to finish. Yeah, great job. Great theming. Amazing ride. So, right, anyway, let's find the exit, which is just there. Let's walk down here, shall we? And this brings us back out to where we were before. So, let's come out of the Hydrodome. We've got the exit sign there again. So, we've still got the main coaster to go on. I'm not sure where the entrance for that is. I'm sure we'll find it in a second. There you go, just as it goes over the top of us as well. I like that building. Right in front of us. Ah, there you go. That looks like it. Yep. So, the flying railway. So, that must have been it. So, we'll go up there in a second. We've got an exit only here. Not sure what that is for. Is that for a flat ride, maybe? Is there a flat ride down here? No. So, what is this exit for? I'm going to have to have a look. I'm nosy. Can't help myself. Ah, the flying railroad. Right, okay. Right, so it was the exit for that. Okay. So we'll come up there in a second. Again, I love this. I love all the cogs and everything and all the wheels just all turning, all the noises all around everywhere as well. You've got these people just waiting to watch the coaster go past. Are we going to be lucky and see it go past? No. Oh, hang on, I think I heard it. No. False alarm, people. False alarm. But you can just come and just sit and have some dinner in here and then just sit and look out the window. Oh. There you go, just as it went past. Oh, did just miss it. But, yeah, imagine just sitting in there watching the ride go past. Wow. There's all this detailing here and everything. I like that effect with the pipe just coming up through there. I really like that. And then you've got some more cogs there. It's just all the little pieces everywhere that just add so much to it. Just the clutter that makes it feel alive and more vibrant and more realistic more immersive right so we have the flying railroad there we're not going to go up there just yet i want to leave that till the very very end so got a nice little area just here i'm going to skip past the flying railroad and just come back down here which i believe just takes us back to the main entrance again yeah it certainly appears to yeah just the exit just up there look so we are back to where we were at the very beginning of the spotlight so with that in mind let's turn around and let's actually go on the flying railroad shall we so the main attraction of the park i'm kind of thinking what we'll do is we'll actually go for two povs of this as well to be honest maybe a track view and then maybe a cinematic view as well just so we can experience it multiple times because it just look, it, it's so good I've, I've already been on this Right, I went on it in Plip Spotlight. I already know what I'm letting myself in for here. And this is incredible. I love this effect here with this fence panel. Oh, that was good timing. Just as the ride went past. Yeah, with the beams and then the um, the scaffolding piece just in the centre there as well. Really nice effect. But yeah, the, guys, this ride is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. One of the best rides I've ever been on in the Spotlight. I mean, look at all this here. Just as you're coming down the queue. Every queue line is just highly detailed to the max. I don't know how you've done this on a console. I don't know how you've managed to get so much detail 
in a console because you've got the three, four flat rides, two coasters. What's that say? Construction of Flying Railroad. Yeah, you've, you're not exactly short of attractions either. So, yeah, hats off how you've managed to do this. It's so clever. Right, let's walk down here. I'm excited to go on this. Even though I've already been on this ride, even though I know exactly what it is, I'm still excited to go on it. I love this queue line. I just love all the pipes everywhere. I love everything about it. I love everything. It's just ace. Right, so there is nothing better than flying Charles Wilson. Oh, we've had the train just crash through the wall there as well. And here we come finally round to the station. I mean... Look at this station as well. <laughs> There's nothing I can say, is there? There's nothing I can say. It's world class. World class. We've got all the rows as well. But anyway, let's hop on this ride. Let's go for two POVs. So enjoy, everyone. Now, I said this in Plip's Spotlight of this park, and I stand by what I said in that review. For me, this is arguably the best ride I have seen done on console. I think it's absolutely incredible. It, it really is. Yes, it may be required a very little bit of smoothing but i mean let's be honest does anybody actually care about that when you've got a ride of this quality does anybody care about a little bit of smoothing i don't i honestly don't it's world class for me one of the best coasters i've ever been on in a spotlight yeah just absolutely fantastic great job great theming from start to finish nothing more to add than that yeah great job So, anyway, let's hop out the exit, shall we? And I believe all we've really got left to do is have a look at this park at night. Because I think we've looked at everything else. So, let's just come down this exit here. Oh, there's the other side of the train. Right, so let's come down here. So, we already know where this brings us out because we were looking at this exit path earlier on. So, let's walk down here. I love how the pipes are just following all the way down here as well. Yeah, that's a nice fact. I'll just a block of toilets down there as well, just in case people have been waiting for ages to get on the ride, which you imagine they would do. A little bit more theming just on the exit. Got some benches as well. This is a long exit queue. It's a very long exit queue. Da, 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 come on. And there we go. Right. Right, so what we need to do 
is have a look at this park at night. So let's just very quickly zoom out a second. And we're going to have a look at this park at night. I do apologise if I've missed anything in this park. You'll have to forgive me. Oops, crashed into the water tower. <laughs> no one saw a thing. It's all right, don't worry. But yeah, it's just so much detail. It was just easy to miss things. And there we go. Just having a look at night as well. Just, just like the rest of the park, just perfect. All the lighting is just absolutely immaculate. So much to look at, so much detail. This park is currently number one on the Xbox Workshop and you can see why. You can see why this is number one. It deserves to be. It's just absolutely sensational. And I think you guys could probably tell from my expression and the way I've approached the spotlight as well. You could probably tell what I think of this park as well. As I was saying earlier on, I didn't think I was going to see another park like the Rome Park this year, if I'm being honest. And this one is as good as that. It makes my top 10 parks of the year nigh on impossible now to pick a top park. Is it going to be this? Is it going to be the Rome Park? Is there going to be something else that comes along? Uh, there might be. Because the way that you guys keep going with these parks and improving and getting better, there may be a park that is even better than both of them. Just sensational. There's another auto save again. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what else to add. One of the best parks I've ever seen. Well done. Amazing. Let me know down below in the comments below. Is this the park of the year? Do you think it could be? You'll have to let me know down below. But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe if you are new as well. It does really, really help me out and allow me to continue making these type of videos. I'm going to be back in a couple of days for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and see you in a couple of days for more Planet Coaster content. Bye, everybody!